Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. So today, guys, I think you saw it right there in the opening. We're going to be discussing the active cat, cat by active, the active cat, the cat active. Either way, it's an active machine, 1800 PSI, two gallons per minute, branded Caterpillar. So before I get started too deep into this video, though, I'd like to give a shout out to... Uh, Perkins Performance in Kentucky and tell him and his family, Tim and his family, thank you for the tumbler, the safety glasses, and of course, this amazing shirt. Thank you guys very much. Much appreciated. So if you're near Richmond, I believe I'm, I'm in the right city, Richmond, Kentucky, and you're an off-roader, you're into Jeeps, uh, go by and see Perkins Performance. See Tim or one of his members there. Check out what he can do for you. Give him some love and give him some business. So, uh, let me take these spectacles off. It's a little bit overcast today. I wasn't going to wear anything, but that was such a cool gesture I had to wear them. So, let's discuss the active pressure washers. Doug, why'd you pick active? So, here's a quick breakdown of what I did trying to find the right pressure washer. So, I had a Craftsman. 3200 PSI gas machine, three and a half gallons per minute. That was actually an amazing machine, but the noise drove me crazy, couldn't do it. So ditched it, sold it. I had it set up pretty nice, quick release, stubby, whole nine yards. So then I researched some pressure washers. It was on Amazon, I saw a refurbished Sun Joe. Super cheap, now oh, let's try it, whatever. You don't need a lot of PSI. Or I, I didn't really know a lot about water flow, gallon per minute, so I'm like, hey, you don't need a ton of PSI to wash a car. In fact, I used to be anti-pressure washer. Anyway, so I buy the Sun Joe. I'm decently happy. Again, I buy the Flexzilla hose. I outfit it with quick couplers. I buy the stubby. I'm like, oh. I do the whole thing every time, right? Wasn't happy. Sold that one. <laughs> so I started researching uh, pressure washers. So here are the brands that I looked at. I looked at Harbor Freight's brand. I looked at HyperTuff, which is Walmart. I looked at Black Max, which is sold in Walmart. I looked at Ryobi, which is getting a ton of traction right now in the detailing and uh, DIY uh, world. I looked at Craftsman Electric. Um, I looked at Karcher. The first one to catch my eye that I thought I would want would, was the Karcher Cube. Then I looked at the numbers and the uh, PSI and then the flow rate. Archer Cube got tossed off my list. Um, I looked at AR Blue. AR Blue gets a lot of traction for being quality. I went down to my local hardware store. They have AR Blue. Read the numbers and I'm like, nope, it's out too because of water flow. So I'm researching and a local detailer told me it's got to be, you know, two or more gallons per minute. They rinse better, whatever. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it's more convenient. It's better. I found that my son Joe rinsed too slow. Or at least I felt like it did. Anyway. So I'm watching videos, researching all these machines, um, and I stumbled across a, a, a YouTube channel. I'm Josh V. He does great reviews on these things, and I'll be darned, he had an active machine on there, two gallons per minute, 1800 PSI rating, and I think the working PSI is 11 or 1200 PSI at the nozzle. And I said, man, that's the jam. There it is right there. So I keep watching his videos. Um, making comments, going back and forth, start looking at active, stumble across another video on his channel. They've got a cat branded pressure washer. And I'm like, what the bleep? Heck yeah, I gotta do that, I love Caterpillar. Anyway, it's just a thing. So that's where I settled. Uh, active, or cat branded by active products. Uh, today I'm just gonna show you a little bit about it, not too many of the technicals. But, uh, and then I'm gonna have some questions directed specifically at Active. So uh, hopefully they watch this video and can answer these questions. So let's get to it real quick. I've got some uh, degreaser on some stuff right here on the ground. Uh, let's just rinse that off, see the flow rate, see how it looks in real life. You won't be seeing the flow rate because I don't have any way to measure that. Or I'm not that technical. Okay, so that 
was the 15 degree nozzle and it took that uh, I had some uh, lubricant that oversprayed on the concrete right there it was slippery so it's uh, not slippery right now so I took care of that with these so I asked active what can I do to make this an effective video they said well just be true to yourself just do a real live video tell us what you feel and what you think so here it goes um, first impressions I love the color I love all the um, brackets and mounting systems as you can see right here they have these cool little gadgets that hold all your tips very compact unit right here on this end back here's your hose hanger and over there's your lance and foam cannon hanger on this side they just slide right on a bracket very convenient very compact actually very lightweight so this brings me to a couple of concerns that I have so the first question is uh, at active directly why only 20 feet of hose? I don't know anybody DIY or detailer that can only use 20 feet of hose. Um, I mean, honestly, does any pressure washing company think that 20 feet's enough? So that's my first kind of complaint. Not enough hose, but you know that going into it. So don't think you're gonna get 50, 60, 100 feet because you're not. And that's not a big negative because all not all, darn near all companies do that. There's only two companies I know that give you more than 20 feet or 25 feet. One is Adams Polishes and one is Kranzla. Kranzla, Kranzel, however you say it. Uh, both of those units are gonna break the bank, um, but they are set up with more pressure washing hose. That's not a deal killer, but that is a, a legit question. Okay, why only 20 feet? So it's a little bit, eh, whatever. I was geared up for it. I bought the Uberflex hose by Pro Pulse. I've got a 50 footer there. I even bought a coupler to go from the 50 footer to the factory 20 footer. So now I have 70 feet if I need it. So no big deal, overcame that one pretty quick. Um, my next question would be, and this goes to any company, and this isn't necessarily just active, but this is an active video. So. Why have the ratings at 1800, then the working pressure is 1100? I don't understand that. You don't need a ton of pressure to wash a car, but why rate them so high if they don't perform at that? I don't know. And I don't understand the rating system on that. I think it's when you release the trigger, the pressure spikes. And, and do some research on that. You'll see some videos. Guys actually show you the spike when they let go of the trigger. It'll spike to 1800 PSI. Um, my first impression yesterday when I use it the first time, and this one's gonna get me, but, but stay tuned, active, don't shut me off right now. This is gonna be a kind of a negative. Um, I started using it and I go, man, why did I buy this? Why didn't I keep my son Joe? Huh, at first I was walking around here spraying things on the driveway and I'm like, what's going on here? It didn't seem to be doing that great of a job. So I pre-treated some spots that my son Joe wouldn't take off the driveway. I went back with my 15 degree nozzle and I'll be darned it took them off so I was like wait a minute what's going on here how come I'm thinking it's not doing a good job and it's outperforming the sun Joe it even outperformed my craftsman I believe my craftsman wouldn't take those spots off maybe it was the chemical whatever but I always pre-treat with chemical before I spray it so I figured it out I figured it out it was psychosomatic, so it's not that noisy. This machine's pretty quiet. It's that super effective, efficient, quiet, five-piston cat pump. That's what it is. So I went back and cleaned some more uh, sections on my driveway that my son Joe definitely did not get, and the cat did it. So now I'm, I'm stepping back and I'm blown away. I'm like, Dad, dang, Doug, you were, you were shallow-minded. It is the noise level. Apparently, I was expecting this loud machine to perform, but that's just not true. This machine's super quiet and it does perform quite well. So I am impressed. So <laughs> hopefully you stayed tuned through that little rant. Um, let's check out some uh, foaming action. Let's see what this can do here.
Okay, so that's amazing foam. So tell me, what does that? Is it the Orphis? I always hear it's Orphis. Could it be the soap? Or could it be that bad boy right there, the cat? Could it be the flow rate? Because this soap, uh, this foam right here, super thick, guys. I've tried to get foam that's thick just for examples. And like the show on video, and I never get this thick of foam. So could it be that machine right there? I think it is. I think it's the flow rate, guys, because this soap has never foamed that good before. That's odd. And I'm using the same Trinova Foam Cannon, using my favorite soap that I always use, that I'm out of now, the Image Platinum. Um, dang. So maybe the flow rate does the uh, foaming too, causes thicker foam. Which, quite honestly, I don't really care for anyway, but uh, that's just an opinion, right? Everybody has their thing. So let's rinse. And I'm not a big fan of the 40-degree nozzle, but with this flow rate, I want to see how quick it rinses with this. Because um, that was one of my gripes with this Sunjo, right? This didn't seem to rinse good or fast. <laughs> So to be quite honest, I think that rinsed good. Uh, my hood is stained right now from sitting under a tree, so don't judge that. And that soap is a pH neutral soap, so I think it rinsed very effectively. It didn't take that long, so I think I was wrong on two things. When I first started looking at pressure washers, I wanted a higher PSI, so I was wrong on that. So it's flow rate. So this thing's a beast on flow rate. Two gallons per minute, you're not gonna find that anywhere else, and it's all because of that Cat 5 piston pump. Super quiet, super effective, um, and uh, so far I'm impressed. So I've gone through some emotions there. There was a, a first I was like, huh, did I buy the right machine? Then I was like, wow, I'm impressed with this machine. So now brings me to my final, it's not really a hiccup, but a concern. Once a year, I wash an RV and a race car trailer, and it goes from about my driveway here to that SUV over there. That's probably over 50 feet. Then I have to walk out in the street to do the off side, the opposite side, the west side. So to active. Could I get away with running a 10 gauge extension cord? I know extension cords are bad, but if I get a heavy enough gauge, would uh, you recommend a 10 gauge extension cord? Would that be sufficient? Would that work? Or should I just buy 100 feet of hose or 150 feet of hose. Either way, that's something um, that is kind of something that's going to be in my way, kind of a roadblock coming up next summer because I do that car trailer and that RV every summer. Uh, it's only once. Um, but as of right now, there's no way that I could reach it even with 70 feet of hose. Uh, I could run that 35 foot cord all the way out. 70 feet might get half of the RV and the trailer. Um, so what say you active? So that's my only two concerns really um, with the active machine was the hose. Um, why does it come with such a short hose? And then can I run an extension cord with it? So, so far so good. I love the machine so far. Uh, plan on mounting it in my garage on the wall. 
at which point I probably will run more hose if I need to because if the wife wants to do projects around the house she's gonna have to be able to get around the house without cussing screaming and yelling at me so guys if you want a great DIY or detailers style pressure washer it's going to be the active the cat active and you can buy the active VE 51 or 52 this is the VE 50 branded caterpillar or well cat so I think this is the only way to go I've had two others and I wasn't happy of course this is only my second day testing this one um, but so far extremely happy so thanks very much for tuning in today I apologize if this video is a little sketchy. I had a lot going on in the head that I wanted to get out, and I'm sure I missed half of it. Um, I've been going through all these notes in my head all day, and I was like procrastinating on getting this video out, but I thought, man, just go for it, whatever. You're not a perfect human. You're not a pro. You're just a guy. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week. Leave the comments or suggestions down below on anything I can do different, things that you guys like, things that you use. Thanks for watching.